back in the modern format with a little bit of Song of Creation combo here. So our goal here is to resolve this four mana enchantments for one green, blue, and red. It says we could play an additional land on each of our turns. Whenever we cast a spell, draw two cards. At the beginning of our end step, we discard our hand. So why are we doing that? Well, we're going to rip through our entire deck as much as possible, then play fast as Oracle to win the game. Um, I suppose a problem with this is if Thassa's Oracle gets milled by Emery, might be in a little bit of trouble in that case. Uh, we don't really have a redundancy plan for that at the moment, so let's get lucky on that axis. Uh, however, we do have the ability to song creation into a gigantic board full of stuff, including an Uro. Um, we can get a Urian going. Uh, we can get Karn, and Karn can wish for all sorts of things to lock our opponent out and put our mana to good use. Um, we've played this deck before in various forms. Um, Jiggy has added the axis of having repeal in with all of your zero mana and one mana stuff. This allows you to go sort of mana positive on uh, some of some of the things in the deck, uh, as well as being a card that you can use with uh, Song of Creation to draw three cards for the low, low cost of one mana. And if you're resetting a Mox Amber, you can go mana positive with Kinnon or... Um, yeah, that, that's actually, uh, or a uh, mana neutral with the spring leaf drum and uh, extra creatures around. Um, and then uh, we have the new card, Bergy, God of Storytelling. So while Magda, Brazen Outlaw, is a reasonable card to team up with Kinnon, uh, Bergy has a couple of cool things going for her here. So one, she's a three mana, three, three. That's not really a big deal, but most importantly, whenever we cast a spell, we get a free red mana. So adding Bergy to a song creation turn basically means you are pretty unlikely to ever run out of mana. We can filter it through with chromatic stars and chromatic spheres as we go along. If Kinnon's in play, we get double mana from that. Um, and uh, secondarily, and one of the most important things, is uh, Harnf Harnfell, Horn of Bounty, is the backside of this card. So for five mana, you get a legendary artifact that says discard a card, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. Again... Uh, this basically creates a 0% chance to fizzle with Song of Creation. So is this necessary? No. But Bergy on its own helps bridge you to a Song or a Karn or an Uro or whatever you're looking to uh, to hit. Um, with a Kinnon in play, any Chromatic Star or Chromatic Sphere or... Um, any of the zero mana cards, these, these all let you get more shots at... Um, continuing to rip through your deck even with just uh the horn itself so having a deck full of cheap things with uh harnfell is good as well as the fact that playing a deck full of uh legends would line up pretty well with this um speculating on the metagame uh we need these galvanic blasts to fight against burn prowess and other decks that are going to try to kill us quickly as we should be able to go over the top of them as long as we don't die in the early game and I've leaned into a full 10-card sideboard with Karn. Um, one of the biggest things that I'm doing right now is I've got Jester's Cap, Trinisphere, and Damping Sphere in here, uh, all as different ways to try to hose the Ember Cool nonsense deck. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to resolve a Karn relatively quickly in that matchup and uh, stop them from winning the game. Uh, not a guaranteed plan of victory, but certainly better than nothing. So with all that... Meanwhile... Let's hop into a modern league. I think based on how I'm feeling right now, I'm just going to do the one league tonight, but I'm planning on coming back in the morning to do uh, the super qualifier. So it uh, looks like that is going to be in 14 hours from 8, which is 10 o'clock a.m. for me. So we're going to do the super qualifier tomorrow with uh, probably with team or taking turns. Uh, that's my favorite deck I've played in the last little while, so. <laughs> Are those commands that you can do? Ah, oh, well, <laughs> that one is. We're here against Electric Bob in round one. It's 
So we're on the draw. I don't really have enough mana going with this hand, but with the Mishra's Bauble and the Kinnon, maybe we'll be able to get there fairly quickly. I'm going to hope that we will. Pretty sure Jiggy would say mull to a more aggressive broken hand. But if they're on some kind of black discard deck, I'm going to be pretty happy about this. So they'll probably take my Bergy. They could take one of my Kinnons. Could take my Bobble. That'd be a little strange, but... I wouldn't hate doing that if I were them. Ah, oh, yes. Eternal Command. The good stuff. The good stuff kids go for. They took my bobble. Oh, that's terrifying. Luckily, we had the perfect top deck. Hopefully they won't have like a Blood Chief's uh, Thirst, but even if they do, it's not terribly terrifying. Um, looks like they might have a Skyclave, uh, Scourge of the Skyclaves that was stranded here, which I don't mind too much. Um, obviously we're unlocking it for the next turn, but I'm not going to just sit here and not play Ren and Six and do nothing. Um, but... Uh, Wee. Hey opponent, this wasn't in my opening hand. Are you mad? I bet you're mad. I bet you're mad. Bolt. Okay. Second bolt. Okay. <laughs> I already have all the mana I need. Okay, this is spectacular for us. That is fine. Yeah. I think we're just going to throw Kinnon under the bus here, unfortunately. Oh, I did not pay the... Yeah. All right. It's fine. We're going to throw Kinnon in the bus by uh, discarding him to Liliana. Then we're probably going to play Bergy and we'll play Karn the turn after that to uh, grab a uh, Pithing Needle. Yikes. Wait a minute. They just drew two and now they're going to Liliana activate? Sure. Or yeah, that's way better, huh? We could uh, resolve Harn, the Horn of Harnfell next turn if we wanted to. Harnfell, Horn of Bounty, sorry. Harnfell, Horn of Bounty. I need them not to have Thoughtseize here. Fuck. Okay. I mean, we still would have been in trouble if we had gone to get the Pithing Needle, so I'm not going to feel like particularly bad about that, but, uh... I guess I could use Renin 6 to ping their Liliana. It's probably the right play. Because what we're going to do is play the Horn... And then next turn we can try to sort of go off with it. Even this turn I have very, I feel like I just uh, discard my hand and uh, see if we hit some zero drops off this. Yikes. Of course. Of course. Ran six with horn is insane. Well, it would be if it wasn't going to die to the season pyromancer, but... Okay, we can overcome this. We also have a Urian we can grab from exile if we need to. Do 
Yeah, they had to do that. Yeah, you would do that. Okay. That seemed good. So I don't, I don't have the ability to cast that arrow at all. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this turn. Probably just play the Emery. Their Liliana can ult. We'll have like a reasonable amount of stuff left over. Activate again. I don't know what I'm going for though, because I, <laughs> I'm already tapped out on land drops. I don't know what I could hit at three mana that would be in any way relevant. No, not really. I think playing Emery is the best. And then we hope they either decide to edict us or the way that they split the piles is not horrifying. Um, my guess is they will try to separate our cards in such a way that um, we either get to keep the horn or we get to keep like double green and, and some blue that gets us closer to ex uh, escaping the Uro. But they could just tick up again on Liliana. They could tick down on Liliana. Uh, Ran 6 to ping, yeah. Yeah, Ran 6 to ping would be something to dig for. We've already gone through two Ran 6, though. We only have one left. If they don't uh, alter, we're going to sack EE. If they don't alt, we're going to sack EE, replay EE, and sack EE for three. And we will kill my Emery, but both their Seasoned Pyromancers and their Liliana? Yes, please. I can't possibly see that that is going to be allowed by my opponent. Yeah. It'll kill our Horn, too. Uh, no, it won't. Our horn has a converted mana cost. This is not a, it's, it's an, this is an MDFC. While in play, it has the correct converted mana cost that's indicated on the card. It's not like Delver. Yeah, these, these cards are different. I was about to, I was about to be pretty excited about the piles they were giving me there. So that's an intelligence split from my opponent if that's what they end up choosing. Well, it's it's not just the new... It's not new cards. That's a new entire, like, style of card, right? Uh, MDFCs and... Um, I, think there's, I think they call them TDFCs, Transforming Double Face Cards. Uh, they actually function differently. They're similar, but they function differently. Okay. So I'm choosing which pile I sacrifice here. Reminder, I'm choosing which pile I sacrifice. So they have split it up in such a way that I cannot have the mana to uh, to get Uro. I think I'm going to keep the Emery Harnfell pile. This suggests to me that they could just have a removal spell in their hand, but I have a reasonable amount of time. So once again, this is choose which pile I sacrifice. Yeah. So I'm going to sacrifice this bottom pile. This top pile is obviously less cards, but I think if they have a removal spell in hand, we get kind of sacked, but I think we'll be okay. Obviously, no matter what, we weren't in a good position here, so 
but Emery hopefully will fix all sins. We get to replay our E. Well, we might not choose to. We'll see what uh, what this turn brings. So as I suggested earlier, uh, Hardfell does help having a uh, deck full of uh, legends. We don't have we don't have a Mox in our graveyard, unfortunately. But we can start plussing on cards at least. So Springleaf Drum lets me get an extra mana here. I use that extra mana to play the Chromatic Star. What? No, no, no. There we go. Chromatic Sphere, sorry. Okay, starting to build back up. I'm at 12. Culligan's Command? Culligan's Command would be funny, because we could kind of dodge it. No, Culligan's Command wouldn't be funny. We'd lose our Harnfell. Okay, there we go. Are you conceding opponent? But I want to cast things. No. No. Oh, Jund. Oh, Jund. I wonder if they're playing um, Valky, God of Lies, and uh, Bloodbraid Elf. Wait, no, this isn't Jund. This is just straight black red. I don't think I need to sideboard Galvanic Blast here. I think we're probably good as is. I'd like to point out too, we had a very unfortunate game there. We exiled Two Song of Creations on turns where we couldn't cast them. Two. Um, and it just didn't seem to matter at all. Like, I can't even imagine how that game could have gone if we had gotten to resolve it. All right. Uh, if I want to play Cannon on two, I have to lead on a blue source. And if I want to lead on a blue source, I think... I think I want to be cognizant of the potential for Boil, so let's see how many non-island lands we can lead on. We're not playing Mystic Sanctuary, so hopefully uh, this is reasonable. Also, we we really do not have a way to pick up or replay this Thassa's Oracle, so I'm not worried about them discarding it, but... Um... Because we can just beat them with like a gigantic board of ultimate value. But uh, I think it's worth worth highlighting that we may end up just playing Thassa's Oracle at some point for like a random value play. I'm going to put the goose in here. Um, just because it'll leave back a food... And uh, they're probably not super excited about killing a goose, which means we might get away with uh, playing Kinnon next turn and having uh, four mana, which is not enough to play the, the horn, but uh, let's see. Okay, that's not too bad at the moment. Could get bad quickly, but that's not too bad. My Scalding Tarn wouldn't have been able to fetch for a green no matter what, so no worries on that front. Okay. 
I could play Kinnon into Bergie here. But I think I'd rather save for Harn for Harnfell. Harnfell, yeah. I'm sure they have a Braids and Coligan's Command and things of that nature, but I don't. Okay, so let's crack this for green first. All the chromatic stars and spheres make the Blood Moon feel nowhere near as terrifying as I, I would otherwise think it would be. What if I just play the second goose this turn? Is that worth doing? Probably not. It's like lower risk than playing Kinnon, and then it feels like no matter what next turn I get to play the Harnfell. But um, I feel like they'll probably only be able to remove one of my creatures. Maybe they can get both. If they can get both, I get got a little bit, but we can just keep slow rolling a little bit. So keep on rolling up. Roll up the roll up the roll up the rim. Exiles two cards. Thoughtseize and Season Pyromancer. Well, I think I'm probably losing my Bergy here. She makes me think of uh, um, Bilbo telling the story to all the little hobbits in the in the Shire about the, the trolls. Turn them all to stone. I'm sad that the flip side doesn't have a flavor text. Well, no, it does. Oh, it does. No, this flavor text is set up exactly how I thought it was. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I was I was reading the front half at one point, and for some reason the other half didn't have the flavor text in my brain. But I'm sure it did. I'm just an idiot. Don't worry about me. All right. They didn't take the Thoughtseize, so they're trying to go wide and kill me, I guess. And maybe they have a bolt here. But even if they drew a discard spell there, they wouldn't have been able to play it. Bolt, I don't mind too much, because we're going to get to resolve our horn. Now, maybe, 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 maybe they have, what? Well, they're, they're new. I mean, I don't blame MTG bot for that one. Next turn, we could have Bergy and Harnfell in play. I'm into it. For now, let's just uh, get the horn going. Yeah, baby, I know it. Yeah, um, so that, that was actually something that has come up a lot, and Mark Rosado was talking about. I think at some point he was talking about how having these double-sided legends where each side is legendary is like super slick design. Like the MDFCs work out really well with, well, shoot. All right, we got to find an engineered explosives, I guess. Uh, the MDFCs work out really well with legendary cards for that reason specifically. Pithing needle. I didn't expect it. Oh crap, I'm out of green mana. Don't know why I didn't see that coming, but I didn't. Um, okay. Guess I'll just put the Sky Noodle in my hand. Goose Tron. Yeah, we got all the geese. I don't have anything else going on, but man, do we have all these geese. If you had asked me if I was going to get Blood Moon this game, I definitely would have told you, like, oh, they could definitely Blood Moon me. and I, I But I couldn't have fetched around it. Hmm. 
I could have played my island earlier, but that would have been worse against the boil that I thought was possible, so. They can't cast the Liliana. Maybe they'll discard a card and flip two Lilianas. Just just go ahead, opponent. It'll be funny. Thoughts ease and magnetic channeler. Not surprising. Well, those are not threatening, or particularly threatening yet. Let's draw a forest. Bang. Okay, well, I guess I'll just play a 3 3. Don't bolt me. Damn it. Yeah. They have had quite the draw over there. Fatal push and another season pyromancer. Holy yikes. Yeah. There's the boil. So they're playing boil and blood moon. Holy crap. And Nile spell bomb and pithing needle. That's that's a lot of hate. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Okay, game three. Something tells me they don't like blue decks. It's not just blue decks either, right? It's it's also decks that are just like chock full of uh, non-basics. All the field decks and such. Yeah, exactly. I still think I don't want to board here. I just need to get stuff going ever so slightly faster. Hopefully being on the play helps out. Hardfell's already been really, really solid, though. I mean, they had the Pipping Needle there, but otherwise you would have completely pulled away with that game. We haven't really gotten to use the front side of Bergy. Harnfell? You like the name Harnfell? It's a good name. Yeah, they uh they kind of crushed crushed the the names and flavor text and and world building on Kaldheim. Okay, so I have no access to a forest. I cannot get a forest. So, but we can at least get two islands in play to get boiled away. I have to lead on Scalding Tarn if I want to play a turn two Ren and Six. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. I can play Island into Chromatics here, and then second turn I can Scalding Tarn for uh, Breeding Pool. This also doesn't put me SOL if they uh, Thought Seize my, my Ren and Six. No knee. Yeah, I... I you're, you're on the delay. I figured it out. Oh. But what if I could get a forest? Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if I could get one? Then I wouldn't have to get a dual land. Didn't scan as well as I was hoping for. It's fine. And wouldn't it be nice to draw a card here? Play my Rin and Six and grab this land. Oh, as I was falling asleep, I came up with a line for uh, see my see my decks, which is in a note on my iPad, which I don't have here. But uh, that's going to be a little slow, opponent. That's gonna be a little slow. That is 
definitely going to be a scotch slow. So let's get a second forest, second blue. I want to repeal the channeler here. Do I? Maybe I just play Uro into Springleaf Drum? No, Uro into Springleaf Drum is better, right? And I can get all... They can't possibly boil me this turn, and I can get two islands and two forests into play. That's what we're going to do. The backup Uro. I love it. Yeah, baby, I know it. All right, pass the turn. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> Your deck is cute, opponent. Oh, they can't take the one card that matters. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Okay. Oh, can they find the Thoughtseize, though? They did not. And they can't cast that. And they exile the Blood Moon. Oh, everything's coming up, Millhouse. We can use the old one to play the new one. We, we could. What would I rather do this turn, though? Uro or Song? The answer is Song, right? The answer is never not Song. I'm going to play an enchantment against the black-red deck. I think I'm going to go ahead and play an enchantment against the black-red deck. Yeah, we're... we're, we're I, 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 Kip, Kip, Kip. Don't worry, my friend. Don't worry. I got you. Question is, do I want to leave a green up or a blue? I have Gilded Geese. I have Emery. But I'm going to have a second mana. But I don't have any more forest to fetch. So let's leave a, up a green. We get to play an extra land off of Song. And we'll start trying to go off with Engineered Explosives here. Um, I'm going to pick up the Misty Rainforest anyway. Am I playing this for zero or do I want to play it for two? Burn it all down. No, we're not burning it all down. Oh, Woohoo! Oh, that sucks. I mean, I guess I could play it. But it's probably not worth it. Shoot. Just escape Uro? I can't do that. I don't have the mana. I can escape Uro next turn. <laughs> I mean, it's possible they're playing, um, what's it called? Well, we didn't have that much mana to go with Crypt 6. It's not, it's not shocking that we, we couldn't go off harder with it. The, I use the stones to destroy the stones line. Is that Thanos? Inquisition. Enjoy. Okay. So now they can't, um, what is it? If, if, can someone, is it feed the, sw oh, you jerk. Wow. Off the Pyromancer. God, that's brutal. Uh, they're not cracking it? They're not cracking it? What are you, are you, you going to upkeep crack it for no particular... What are you... Draw step crack it? Why would you possibly do that? That's so incredibly rude. All right, well, we've got a second song, so we're going to do that this turn. So that ought to be fun. 
Feed the Swarm. That's what I thought it was called. Uh, guys, we, we may have a problem. No way! Oh, wait, I have extra land drops. Whew! Thank God. We may end up with too much value. That's the danger. I still have another land drop. All right. Uh, play Uro, draw five. Seems good. Add a mana. Draw Emery. Perfect. Shock breeding pool. Okay, that, that was my final land play. No, I even have another one. Holy crap. So, play Emery, see what we hit, because we can hit some mocks in, like that. Oh my god, each of these is a ritual? Alright, so we're, we're just going to go off entirely, I think. I think I can just win the game right now. I have 40 cards left in my deck, I th think we can just draw the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, hold on, we need the thing. There's a cannon now? We did it. So many fewer clicks than doing a uh, breach. Be careful you don't draw out. I'm, I'm being careful. Don't worry. We're down to 20. Sixteen. So I have one, two, three, four. So I have six. I'm going to have six devotion pips. I can draw an extra card if I want to off of one of these stars. Do you just not need Bergy? No, Bergy's not necessary for this deck. Bergy's not in the deck to be necessary. That was never never a claim that I made, that Bergy's what's going to make or break this deck. Okay, we just play the Oracle now, because we're going to go down to four cards in library and we have six devotion. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, we didn't need Bergy for that sequence, but Bergy um, helps because Bergy uh, acts as plus one mana on each play during a song. Additionally, Horn of Harnfell, I don't know if you saw game one Odense, but we won game one entirely off of the horn. We resolved the horn and they took us down to zero cards in hand and next turn it was just like, okay, I've got gas. Okay, I've got gas. Okay, I've got gas. We even had some very unfortunate luck on turn one and two because we had, um, well, this hand is spectacular. We picked up, um, what do I want to get? I want to get a forest. We picked up words. We picked up, uh, or we exiled two song of creations that we couldn't cast. Like we, we used activated horn on turns where we didn't have any mana and uh or not not any mana but we did, we had limited mana we got hit with a liliana ultimate and we overcame it because of uh because of the horn i did win the match okay uh apparently today is going to be a little soft i'm okay with it i just didn't know 
Um, Man, we are taking a lot of mana burn this turn. It's okay, though. So our deck is very, very low on lands. It's 24 in an 80-card deck, so we are spectacularly flooded here. But we should we should be able to draw out against blue, uh, black-white nonsense. We just have so many ridiculous haymakers in our deck. Like, from this point on, as long as they don't disrupt my mana engine, Karn, Bergy, and Song are all insane. So fair black mid range is the the deck that like beyond anything else I think we just totally eat for breakfast. Also we can start spinning Kinnon here, which can hit Uro, Geese, Emery, uh, most of our creatures actually. Draw step stop. One two three four five. Alright, sorry one two three four five six. Shit. And I can't even put uh, Urian in my hand. All right. Can't believe I'm one mana short. Okay. Guess I'll fetch first. Mm. Should have tapped the green for the chromatic star, probably. It's fine. I think I can play anything I pick up here, and we can just grab our Urian otherwise. Uh, we'll grab our Urian. Okay. I would like to hit any gas. Any gas. Our deck is stacked full of gas. That's problematic. <laughs> oh my god. Comball. Comball in modern. Was was not expecting that. All right, so they're telegraphing uh, engineered explosive, or not engineers. I I just drew engineered explosives. They're telegraphing a uh, path to exile. Um, we can. Pick up our land. We can flicker our board. But. That means I won't be able to EE for any profitable amount this turn. But that's probably okay. Oh, I could float the man in E for two, but that's not really what I want to do with that. So we'll just play Orion. Float the man off the mox. Flicker these two. Oh, I'm not going to play the extra Springleaf Drum, though, into the Comball damage. So, I'm assuming they've got another uh, Path to Exile, and then... No, not yet. Okay. 
don't, our opponent definitely does not know what we're up to, but. A three drop. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> I'm concerned. Out of respect for my opponent, I'll pretend to care. <laughs> Check that out. Two card types. How many card types? Two card types. How, but how many types of cards do I have in my graveyard? Two card types. Okay, but but when it comes to cards, if you were to define them to define them as sets based on their characteristics, what would you call those types? Aha! Uh -huh. How many do I have? You, you have two. Okay. Okay. So I have two card types. Yes. I see. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> I'm not going to crack the EE until I need to because uh, I would like to try to dodge. Um, <laughs> I would like to uh, try to dodge them uh, having a second combo. They'll probably just swing in with everything here. It's fine. Uh, I'm pretty willing to trade my Orion for Gifted Aetherborn, but I guess if I don't need to, I'm not going to. Because uh, Urian can eat the Shambling Vent without having to trade. Eh, I should probably just trade it aggressively. Because my life total is getting a little... Not the best. So, we'll trade. It's pretty easy for us to go off as long as they don't have a second combo. Second combo. Rats. Alright, let's find Burrow. Okay, well, deck's making me want it, I guess. I don't even want to keep fetching because it's going to deal damage to me. I have infinite mana here, so we're just going to preserve our life total because that's very quickly going to be the axis we could lose on. Playing around brought back mana. Mm, yes, that's what I'm going to say. Not attacking with Shambling Vent. I wonder what that means. Like, what... What could they possibly have? Well, we're we're totally insulated from discard spells. Like I'd be really excited if they like. <laughs> sick. Opponent's deck is sick. Oh my god. <laughs> if we lose this game, I might be real upset. We are 20 cards into our deck. We found zero of our, what, 11 payoffs? Are we dead on board? No, they don't have enough mana, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, they don't have enough mana. They're one short. Although they could easily draw it. Well, that might do it. Can I spin cannon twice? That might be a new... That might be a new record of, like, absurd things this deck has done. So if I am going to spin Kinnon, let's put my land in. Let's tap this for mana, put the second one on the stack. Gary's coming. I hope not. Gary will kill the shit out of me. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Um, Try to maximize... I want to leave as much for playing Uro here as I can. <sighs> we could have spun Cannon twice. Instead, we might be dying like dogs. Maybe we get a stay of execution for one turn? No, they're, are they too short? It costs them basically... Well, now if we draw Song of Creation, we can't uh, can't go off with it. So it's basically like Uro or Horn. Oh, those are the only things that get us out.
You've never seen Kennen hit? I've, I've hit with Kennen. I've hit with Kennen a good number of times. Tusk Legion Seal. Sure. Might as well go to one. Shuffle that Karn from the back of my, or from the bottom of my library back in. I want Uro. 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 <laughs> we have 24 lands in the deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's not accurate because Ren and Six was drawing us one per turn, but uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. Renblum. Yeah, we had Renblum there with no with no spells to cast. All right. Do I want Galvanic Blast here? I guess I do, because I need to be able to take down their, uh, their Comballs. I feel like I just want to do this because what we're doing is we're boarding in such a way that we're not trying to combo them at all anymore. We're just going to try to uh, win the game with overwhelming value. So we will pretty much need to not double song because if we double song, we'll basically deck ourselves before we can win the game. But uh, I think I like I think I like this plan. Can't keep this hand. This is the the. I think this might be. This is one of the two lands in the deck. No, no. no there's also islands. All right. Yeah. Let's ship it. That's better. I could play turn two Bergy, Mox Amber, plus one mana, tap it for one mana. It doesn't get me anywhere, but it's pretty neat. Um, I want to ship the Bergy here because uh, I could then dodge Inquisition on turn two, but that's basically just nonsense. I think we just ship the Karn. Because playing Bergy on turn two into Song on turn three would be kind of the nuts. Although I suppose non-creatures are much better here because they have shown us a, a glut of creature removal. So... Tricky choices. I feel like Song is just the only thing I definitely don't want to pitch here. But some of their removal is Path to Exile, which will just ramp me. Okay, 
We're gonna try it like this. I don't know if it's correct, but here's hoping. Go team! Goose, 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 goose. Hmm. I don't have red mana if the goose gets removed. Things I didn't think of. Bolt the bird. That was one of the things I was worried about. They could take the mocks if they have a removal spell. Well chosen opponent. Well, that's pretty good. I need to dodge removal for one turn. Uh, let's play the thing that they already know about. If they took the mocks, I would have cried. Why? We play a turn two Bergy. Then they push her and then we... Oh, perfect. I think maybe we just won. Feels like I just won the game. We'll see. Yeah, it would. It would yeah, exactly. Exactly. It would, it would telegraph the creature removal, which would mean we we're going to be up a river without a paddle in a half a second. Um, out of all the cards I could get here, let's let's put a red into play. And uh, I'll cast a cast a Berg, Song of Creation. You gotta, you always gotta de decide what what flavor of Song of Creation you're playing. It's very important, you know. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'll play it on zero. We could still draw an Emery. Yikes! Keep that one. All right. <laughs> Impressive turn opponent. Impressive turn. I don't know what this means. Does that mean they have a path? I guess it could. All right. Uh, I think I'll just play it for zero. Could play it on two. Could play it on. Th Three to try to dodge the future um, combo. Playing on threes. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it on zero. See if we can just go off here. All right, deck. I need you to be with me here. Double land's not gonna cut it. Okay, that's close. That's actually really good because that means we get to start going again next turn if we need to. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. There we go. Two spells. Dos. Oh! Okay, we're not playing the second song this game. Uh, that would be incredibly foolhardy. But we'll play um, Kinnon because it's net zero mana. Uh, I think we'll play Bergy, because now everything goes plus one mana. Dear opponent, I sure hope you packed Wrath of God. It's too late. It's too late, opponent. It's too late. Too late for that. Also, they just took out a Kinnon, who is not necessarily net uh, net mana, and gave me Bergy, which absolutely is. 
insane. Wild. Wild. All right. All right, if we 5-0, I'm making you all a deal. If we 5-0, I'll play this deck tomorrow. You want to play Bergy Steamkin Storm? Probably not in Modern. I don't know what format you want to play that in. All right, hold on. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. Got distracted. All right, so let's play Emery. Trigger, good. I have more lands to play here. Oop. Uh, hopefully I can still fetch with that. I think I can. Good. All right. I don't have an arrow in my graveyard yet? Wild. Well, let's play this one out of my hand. One colorless, one blue, and one green. Row taps for a blue. Puts in a second blue. Oh, there's a cannon. Huh. Uh, let's filter this for green then. If I could find a Karn here, I'd be pretty happy. There it is. Cool. And a Galvanic Blast, sure. Twenty-eight cards left in my deck, so I've got Five more spells I can play here, but I can play all power spells now. Shoot their face for free. Well, I guess I could just find all of my uh, Galvanic Blast if I ever wanted to kill someone that way. Interesting. So let's go green, green. Play arrow. Karn. Let's go one, two, three, four. Do I need to go up any more mana here? Uh, might as well play the Amber. So I just want to put a big Ballista into play here. Maybe I should just get liquid metal. Just shut off their, their white source. Uh, let's get Ballista. X3, play Ballista. Ballista gives me another red mana, so let's play this Galvanic Blast. So the last thing I'm going to do is play any Galvanic Blasts that are just hanging out in my hand. Thirteen cards left in my deck. Okay. Alright, opponent, I'm done. You're up.
Okay. So we're just gonna ping down the gifted Aetherborn and kill them. I mean, I can uh, k uh, take out the other two as well. If I'm gonna do that, uh, let's tap the ballista, it's pretty small. And you always wanna add your mana in sets of four with ballista, because then it will not prompt you um, on dumping your mana into the ability. If you If you have exactly enough to pay for it, then the ability will just trigger off when you say, add the counter, uh, kill you. Hey, Larynx Punchworthy. We're playing with all the win conditions. We didn't draw any of them in game one, but then we drew a single one in game two and we crushed our opponent. Beneath our value plated heel. Yeah, um, Bergy and Steamkin. Because we drew nothing but lands. <laughs> Larynx Punchworthy. We drew nothing but lands in game one. We had 14 of our 24 lands. I said I'm playing all the win conditions. I'm not playing all win conditions. All right. I can keep this. It's risky, but I'm going to keep it. Opponent took them all. <laughs> true, true, true. False advertising. Fake news. Oh my god, that's so fake news. Play all DFCs, MDFCs. Now you're thinking. Uh, let's put Chromatic Star in, um, just because this way I have the maximum number of cantrips to try to get this Ren and Six going. Yeah, creature, creature lands are a good, good. Uh, good version of, of what, what we're memeing. We'll call it oops, no wins. <laughs> Aren't that a bunch of the decks that I play? I think we already have that covered. Phyrexian Arena again. Opponent, you're so cute. You think this is value? Let me show you the meaning of value. Um, hold on, so we can go Kinnon, then Chromatic Star produces two, then Springleaf Drum, then I don't think I can actually like go off this turn, but I can certainly put a lot of mana into play. So this is going to add two. Then this is going to add two. But unfortunately, I can't play another spell after this. So probably should have gone to Uro here, but I didn't play Bergy. Creature duels that enter untapped but cost six mana to activate. I do love myself some stomp, uh, Stocking Stones. Is that the name of the card? I think it's Stocking Stones. 
second rate. Okay, so I, I don't... Since I don't need mana, let's just ping off the Dusk Legion, and we'll just start killing them with these two. I can use Goose for the mana to get my Karn down here. Oh my god. Bergie's gonna take some getting used to, because she makes the math a lot more complicated all of a sudden. Like, this is gonna add another one. Yeah, I uh, we were on the final lap already for a minute, buddy. I was aware of it. Oh god. Uh, Sky Sovereign. Sure. We'll just go to combat here. Go in for this much. I love the Bergy mana just kind of hanging out. Just doesn't empty until end of turn. And then I think next turn we could just kill him with a Ballista. But we have Sky Sovereign in case they play um, Comball or any nonsense. Sure. I showed you the Sky Sovereign, right? Like, it's not a secret. Ooh! Spicy! How many zombies am I getting? Is it one? Are you just gonna give me the Sky Sovereign? Name song creation. You got it. I didn't need that to win this game anyway. We've got the unbelievable power of the team of cards. You know, this this guy here, you know, I'm always seeing him, you know, at the gym. And then after he goes for, you know, a, um, you know, the shots with the wheatgrass. Very healthy, you know. All right. Um. It's time, folks. Dude. It's not my fault, Larynx Punch, Punch Worthy. They don't give you enough time. It's also my computer. I don't know if you've been noticing how much everything's like hanging. <laughs> Odin's just crushed you. Odin's, you, you are a monster. How could you crush them like that? <laughs> That's the number one answer. That's the final answer. That is 110% reality. The real iconic duo is me and losing to burn. Uh, we're getting Walking Ballista here. I don't care if they have discard spells. They can discard my Ballista if they want to. I was elected to lead, not to read. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Dins, I, I know. I just uh, appreciate you for uh, for the attention to detail because you're, you're newer here than the other two, and yet, you know, you had the soul read on that one. You're just like, yo... I know what I know what's up. I know what we're about here. All right. I don't know if my opponent knows the text on Sky Sovereign, but they're about to get Sky Sovereign. Get hit with a boat. Maybe they have a path? Nope. Too late. Bye, nerd. Man, I wish the boat guy was here to see this. Glorious assault of the Sky Sovereign. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Meanwhile. And really quick, because it's choking more than usual. It's not even let me close it properly. Which one of my flyers has attacking? The answer may surprise you. I love that. I love that.
So burgies are a quarter right now. I'm gonna take a small I mean, I... buy four of them because they're 0.25 tickets. So we're gonna take a little MTG finance break here. Other people have said that they have not found Bergie to be um, exceptional, but if they are a quarter of a, a ticket, I think I'm going to get a few. At least a playset. I don't think they're going to be super, super valuable or anything like that, but I do think it's very possible that it will be worth more than a quarter of a ticket. These aren't stocks, Larynx Punch worthy. These are pieces of cardboard. Well, that's what it was when I was renting them. Maybe, maybe it'll be different when I'm trying to buy them. But I. Yeah, this is digital cardboard, even. Oh, they've they've moved up. I'm still gonna buy them. Magic economy is gambling. All all economies are gambling, right? Aren't you buying a house? Isn't that gambling? Flanders gets hosed. With the, with the by the hurricane, it's don't you guys like your insurance will cover everything? Oh no, we we don't believe in insurance. Ned thinks it's a form of gambling. That one's out. Oh, surgical's up. Surgical is way down for a while. Bone crushers way down. That's surprising with the um, the what is it the ice thing the giants something something. How did slag pile go? We got uh, a surprisingly lucky two three. Um, we pulled the saffron olive treatment. Uh, we we won uh, two different matches basically solely off of Blood Moon. That's a buy bot. Apologize to the break in uh, gameplay here. You guys gotta see the hot gambling action. All right, this is the last one I was gonna look at. Perfect. All right. Back to the league. I mean, Song of Creation seems like one of those cards that was destined to be broken. <laughs> I wonder what other janky cards you'd get, Brian, to try. Well... Um, so I, I think Slag Fiend could have potential. I just think Brian went totally in the wrong direction with it. I do want to play a Ravager deck, but he only had like 19 artifacts in the whole deck. I think you need more. You could try playing Slag Fiend with, um, what's it called? Um... Uh, Burning Inquiry, uh, Underworld Breach. 
And um, Burning Inquiry Underworld Breach, by the way. Hate that they printed the Jeskai enchantment in the same set of song. Yeah, what, what is it? Narset's Transcendence or something like that? The really... <laughs> it's like every time you uh, cast a non-creature spell, you deal two damage or something like that. And Scry? I know it's really... Oh no, it's just every time you play a non-creature spell, you draw a card. I mean, I'm keeping that. We didn't. We didn't come here not keep hands like this. Can we get hoes with this? Absolutely. Am I willing to get hoes with this? Absolutely. We have a relative of a horny vegan in my deck. I don't even know what that means. I'm okay with it. I just don't know what it means. Oh. Okay then. All right. Uh, that's a yikes. Oh, I see. I see. Because it's a horn. Got it. All right. Well, we just need to find a Karn to deal with this. So I guess we'll just play Kin in here. I was just trying to think of like what about Bergy was like aroused or in any way suggests that she abstained from eating meat and or dairy animal products in general. Sure. Well, that's not the carn I wanted. I can cast Song and then Mox Amber and start trying to get somewhere. Might as well. Seriously? <laughs> All right. I could have attacked for two, but I really don't care. I don't think that's the axis on which this game is going to be won or lost. Playing Chalice in... This has to be Etron, right? Let it be Etron. But if it is Etron, I hope they don't play four mana Karn here. I had to crack my food for that last turn. I didn't get to keep the Mox, so our Uro is stuck. We don't have enough mana to get him. It's pretty likely we'll just pick up a land here or a spell I can't cast. So that was super unfortunate. The soul read from my opponent, the Gilded Goose means slam your chalice on zero. Oof. Yeah, but vegan is not something that people can identify e even sort of tangentially from appearance, right? Like, they already have hippie-looking people. And I'm 100% sure that, like, Nyssa or one of the green characters is already a uh, vegetarian. You stumbled on an interesting list. I think you're looking at it right here, Mike. Chalice on two. Interesting. Well, <laughs> that didn't help me. Um, what well, sort of does? Next turn, I can uh, escape a row. What is this interesting list, Michael? Or, you, or again, are you talking about the one we're playing right now? In which case, I would agree with you. This list is sweet. Blast Zone.
We can untap Kinnon. What? We can untap Kinnon. We can un... Oh, with Minamo. Sure, sure, sure. We could, but then we wouldn't be making a, a food with the goose. And making a food with the goose right now is kind of important. Holy crap. I didn't see that interaction. That was so sweet. So Forsaken Monument uh, lets their permanents tap... Uh, the tap for a colorless, tap for an extra colorless. Shoot, that was really good. Okay, I want Springleaf Drum. Land is good. Land is fine. I, I don't object to land. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Land is good. Land is fine. I, uh, <clears throat> this is okay. I, I, <laughs> I begrudgingly accept, in the words of the great Homer Simpson, in the words of the great Bill Gates, well, everyone always does. Buy them out, boys! Shoot. I hope I draw a land. Nope. Well, we uh, drew enough that uh, next turn we'll be able to escape Uro again if we have to. If they're on Eldrazi, their Eldrazi are going to be supersized. But hopefully between Uro and what we got going on, we'll be able to dig out of this. Fuck! God, they have everything! Karn, oh man. I mean, of course they're playing Karn, but like, woof. Just the whole, the whole sequence here. Just every little bit of my mana that they've managed to needle off of me has been completely brutal. All right. Is this bridge? It's gotta be bridge, right? <sighs> Sundering Titan. Holy fuck, they can play it. Yep. I mean, we're not out of this. That's the crazy thing. Unless they also have a way to kill it. No, it's not one mana. Alright. Karn turning off my artifacts is really bad, though. Well, I think we're attacking their Karn. That is a really good draw. Now, who are they going to kill? Oh, makes sense. Okay, that one puts me up to enough mana to cast Uro again, so that's really good. Unfortunately, we still can't, still can't get these. Um... Oh no, it doesn't, because this I can't cast the Springleaf drums. Fuck. <sighs> All right, I sorry, I can't activate the King Springleaf drums. Yeah, thank you, thank you for pointing out the thing that I realized a half second later. Well, we'll see what we can get going here. I mean, we have more land drops, so we should, yeah, we should keep going. These are both good draws. Okay, geese, geese will get me to the next arrow, and the the centering titan's not actually going to kill me that quickly. I mean, you know, it is, but not compared to the sort of velocity that my deck can put out here. I almost think I should stop just because I have enough mana to cast Karn, although I don't know how useful that is. But I already have three draws for next turn. Yeah, Centering Titan doesn't have Trample. I just I don't think I want to spew off more here. I think I just have to pass. Just because I don't have enough mana to get going. 
So their Karn can only plus now. Also, I would be happy if they attack with Sundering Titan, because it, it means they have to have another creature to block the Karn. I mean, they probably have other creatures, but... They could have Shadow Spear on the sideboard, uh, but they can't uh, get it. Karn, Karn is on one loyalty. They could have another Karn. They could have a million things. They have a million cards in their hand. Chalice on three. Holy shit. They haven't fetched any they they're they have only drawn 14 cards of their deck. These are these are the cards. Look at the cards. Well we could still get our Karn. Um but I don't have any colorless mana so that I can um because I need a colorless mana to play a chalice for x equals one with zero sunburst. They animate the Forsaken Monument. That's bonkers. Well, I'm at three. Sure. Kill my Manamo. It's Karn or Bust, I think. Wait, but Karn... Well, Karn gets me a bridge. And the bridge... Puts me in an okay spot. Uro Ch I'm aware Uro Chalice. I, I, I'm very much aware Uro Chalice. Yeah, it says it like it we cast it and it draws me two cards. I <sighs> No, we're just stuck now. It's fine. No, I was aware they had me basically locked out. I was just trying as hard as I could to draw into the Karn, and then the Karn can knock down one of the chalices, and then maybe we can get out of there. No, it's everything. It's literally everything. Uh, yeah, but at that point, we're just dead on board, Larynx Punchworthy, because then everything's tapped. It's not that I can't cast the Karn. It's that the Karn doesn't matter anymore. It was too late. It's always been too late. Always will be. All right, I don't think I want the Galvanic Blast here. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Flip it never too late for now. Is that is that what you're singing, Lyrics Punchworthy? It's never too late for now. I know that reference. Maybe we'll just do that. This is from uh, 30 Rock. It's not a real song. It was a joke song on an episode of 30 Rock. Two of the writers come up with uh, this really, really terrible song called It's Never Too Late For Now. That's a good goddamn hand. It's a good goddamn hand. So my opponent's on some kind of, like, Dice Tron deck? They didn't really comment on it last game because they crushed us so hard like right from the start but they're on some weird weird build do i want to fire this off now i think so i was thinking let never too late by three days grace gotcha yeah there's uh there's the punish for uh cracking the bobble because otherwise I could have played uh, Emery for one mana and then Ren in six for two. And I can't do that now. 
It's fine. It's like not a huge loss here, but. Okay. We did mill a Mox Amber. Oh, they've got turn three Tron again. They kept a seven and got turn three Tron. Brutal. Can you consider just always having it? Uh, you know, I've tried it. I've never really felt like it's for me. Okay, so we play Uro. Uro taps the Springleaf Drum. Emery brings back Mox Amber. So, but I need to do it in a slightly different order if I want to cast Renin Six, which is fine. So we'll get the Mox. I have enough lands in my graveyard. I don't need to do anything special here. Springleaf Drum with Uro in play has been something we've been doing for the whole time this deck has existed. It is uh, it is very slick. It is one of those plays that just makes me so happy with the existence of Magic as a game. Like, that's just one of those plays that's just like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, man, that is so freaking sweet. Right, right, exactly, but it's not. Uh, the guys at Faithless Brewing did something similar with uh, Croxa and Consulate Dreadnought. What the hell did they call it? Um, some, uh, Mardu Yacht Club. Mardu Yacht Club. Seven Eleven was an was a was a was it? Seven Eleven was an inside job. Seven Eleven was a part time job. There you go. Seven Eleven was a part time job. I miss song of creation. Please just top deck into it. I would love to. We are well prepared at this point. Seven Eleven was a part time job. That was the joke. Fucking fuck. I mean, I get to play Uro again, but God bless it. At least this isn't the onslaught of chalices from last game. Tormod's crypt. Fuck. We ran into like a deck that just hoses us so freaking hard. So we can put Karn on one here. You can kill Karn. Explain how. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got there. I don't know if that's actually a good idea, but it probably is. Well, playing Karn is definitely a good idea. So let's see if that works out first. I think they'll crack the the two in response. Or, yeah, yeah. If I'm gonna animate either of my creatures, I think I'd rather be Chromatic Star. Boop. Yeah, two O is good. We're we're currently fighting for our lives against uh, some kind of dice tron. Dude. All right. Hopefully they don't have the backup card. Although I guess if they do, we could always. Karn for something else to mess with it. Maybe they go mutually assured Karn Struction and they go Karn Spyglass Karn. Yeah, Jiggy, we, we tore through two Black X mid range decks. It was uh, Black Red and then uh, Black White. 
The black white deck was like a really shoddy vampires deck. Karn might find center again. They don't have enough mana for it right now. That doesn't. That's not a thing. Okay, so that could put my Karn to one, which sucks. But we're not done here. So it is Etron. They just had like an unbelievable draw last game that had like no. Well, you say Badtron, but the problem is they're playing four Karn the Great Creators. It's really, really bad for us. There's definitely a chance. It's just not, not that good. I need to find another Uro. Well, I mean, what did you say, Larynx? Was there was there something you wanted to do? <laughs> so creation is an instrument. Trigger. So, I have one more land drop. Yeah, I have one more land drop now. Yeah, I, I know I do, I know I do, I know I do. I'm just thinking before I do anything stupid. So let's draw off the star, then play Springleaf Drum. At this point, we kind of have to hit Mox. I should tap that for green. Come on. Come on, buddy. There he is. All right. So we're just set up for next turn, I guess. I have no more mana. I can boot up a Springleaf Drum and pretend it can block for me. But all right. So we should be able to go off pretty hard next turn. So good luck. Godspeed, little deck. I ticked up Karn. Yeah. Brooding up the Spring Leaf doesn't matter. The Reality Smasher has Trample. Tap the other drum cat. Fuck! Ah, uh, you guys are right. I have never done that before in this deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's why I need to make these mistakes. I made the mistake in a horrible, detrimental, god-awful way there. And I will always remember that I... Yes, it would have been so cool. And it will be next time we do that. Because this deck is sweet and fairly functional. They're killing my Ren and Six. That seems bad for me. <laughs> Them killing my Ren and Six can't possibly be a good thing for me. Plays Cavern. Okay. They have 11 mana. The fuck is that? Oh my god, it's, it's Ulamog and it's gonna exile my Karn and my Song? What the fuck? What in the fuck? I mean... Do, you think we're still in this? I mean, we could be. I, I forgot that this does give us an extra turn. For some reason, I thought it time walked us with a um, what's what, what do you call that card? Mind Slaver. For some for some reason, for some reason, my brain told me that Emrakul was both Emrakuls. So they get to kill my Emery. They get to kill my Karn. They get to kill my Bergy. If they're smart, they'll put my Orion in my hand. But. Uh, fuck. Wait. 
they're not allowed to yeah they're not allowed to wish with that period if they could they could have gotten a tor mod script which would have been even worse for me but they're not allowed to search my sideboard no they didn't my opponent was was not able to search there period so for anyone who's not aware for some reason and i I'm not really sure why. It seems to be against the spirit of the design of the cards, but whatever. Um, if you... Uh, okay. If you are controlling someone else's turn and you have a card that gets a card from them for them from outside the game, in Tournament Magic, you can't do it. Yeah, they killed Karn, but it would have been way worse if they could use my own Tormod's Crypt to exile my own graveyard. That would have sucked. Why are they going to play Bergy? This is only good things for me. Why, though? Don't know. I don't know, Larynx Punchworthy. Well, it's just a decision that they made that, like, that's not a choice you're allowed to make for them. Just like the fact that they broke all the wishes. Well, I say all. They're going to deck me? They could try. Who knows if they know how to do it, though. They can put your eye in their hand. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe they can. Maybe they can. Maybe that's what they were trying to do, is put the Orion in my hand. It's possible. They're going to play the Chromatic Star. Interesting. Instead of attacking with Emery? Well, Urian should be part of the sideboard, but right now it's in the companion zone. So I, I just don't know how that works. Well, so, but Michael, that's that's true in paper magic, but I don't know if that's true on magic online. They did, you would count it as win. I'm gonna. This is a very strange situation. My my opponent might burn a ludicrous amount of their clock here. Because they have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> OP is confused. They hurt themselves in their confusion. Okay, we haven't hit another Karn yet. That's pretty good. I just enjoy how much time they're burning here. Like. If they're trying to deck me, I don't, I just don't know if they'll be able to do it. And if they wanted to, they should have started with Bergy. Because Bergy, we, we've already seen it once, Jiggy. Uh, Bergy with Song is nuts. I'd be honest, I don't think you're going to beat the Von Clock. Rude. We are ahead right now. Correct. No, I, I know that, Mike. What I'm saying is, on Magic Online, for whatever reason, they represented the companions as being this, like, companion zone, and you don't grab it from your sideboard. You grab it from your companion zone. It is still in your sideboard, but that's not where you get it from. Okay, they're gonna search and fail to find. I think they've gotten sick of trying to play my deck. I think that's what just happened there. I think they just got sick of playing my trying to play my deck, and that they're just going to assume that I uh, can't kill them. <laughs> you hope they just scoop. Oh, they're they're going to take a screenshot of my deck now. That's what they're going to do. Uh, yeah, that I don't know, Michael. I assume not. Uh. Even though, well, it's revealed because so the 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 ruling, as far as I have heard it, is specifically to the tune of you're not allowed to search zones outside the game that the person has the. Yeah, I I, I agree, Larynx Punchworthy, hundred percent. I think that was a hundred percent the correct, the correct. No, and that's what I'm saying is that yeah, I I just haven't I haven't judged since Companions came out, Michael, even though that was nine months ago. 
I don't know what you want me to say about that. These are the sad facts of life. I literally have nothing I can fetch with the Scalding Tarn. That's a yikes. Well, at least I know. Looks like we're going to be able to go off here. Hope <laughs> he's going to be furious. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, this is what my deck is set up to do, right? We still have to find one of our three remaining Karns. Um, but I've got plenty of mana to do that with. Oh, I've got Kinnon in play, right? I have basically infinite mana now. Sure. I didn't leave my Oracle in, though, did I? No, I didn't. It's fine. I'll just win this the old-fashioned way. Galv Blast, Reality Smasher to send a message. Uh, I'd really rather not. Okay. I could repeal the Reality Smasher. Can't believe I hadn't haven't found a Karn yet. Seriously, seriously, not found a Karn yet. Jesus Christ. Sixteen cards left, dude. And he has protection from instance. Sure, I, I wasn't actually planning on doing the silly thing that the person in my chat was suggesting. They are a silly person who suggests silly things. I have eleven cards left, so let's play Karn. Get ensnaring bridge. Actually, I guess the faster way to do this is just to get a gigantic walking blista. Because we're not going to die to their board. And then we'll be able to win more quickly with walking blista than we will by trying to bridge. Because Ballista is how I'm attempting to win this game anyway. Okay, what am I at? X equals four. Let's go out one more. X equals five. Yeah, let's go up one more. X equals six. Sure. Shit. I think we're just going to end up decking, unfortunately. Yeah. We needed the time sieve this game, huh? I could fire off three galvanic blasts at their face. But then I would be on zero cards. No, I'll be at negative cards. Six. 
Yeah, there's, there's, I can't do it. I have to, I have to win from attacking from here, and I have to do it without uh, like casting like any spells. Oh. The the game one loss was really really rough, and then we'll see if we make it out of here. Blast zone. Yeah, should have left in the Thassa's Oracle. I'm still not used to how how good this is. This deck is actually at, at going off. No shame in losing to a lucky Etron player. Yeah, did you see game one? Three chalices and uh, and Karn. I didn't even have Bergy there though. But Bergy Bergy is sort of redundant Kinnon. In that it starts making a lot of your plays um, uh, mana positive. Yeah, we've been against... we The first two rounds were really slow, clunky, black mid-range decks. So we got lucky on those ones. And then you were saying you got hit by a bunch of rest in pieces? I don't know why that would be. Because the... Like, I feel like the Scourge of the moment is the stupid Tybalt's Trickery deck. Yeah, they're attacking my Karn. Not surprising. I can't cast another Karn. You're on various Valky builds. Oh, you're not playing this deck. Got it. Sorry, I thought you had showed up because you were also playing this deck. So that's one, two... I can only crank Ballista three times. I can crank Ballista almost no times. I did get to draw an extra card, though. Well, that fucking sucks. That was my whole plan. <sighs> Turns out they had five cards in hand. Why did you guys have to be so far down in the deck? All right. That's on me. I, I boarded out the fastest Oracle. We could have won that game. But I don't like how I can't get out of my graveyard. Maybe we are supposed to play, uh, what's it called? Thoughts on Oops, I Pooped My Pants 2 Electric Boogaloo. Is that the, the, the Tybalt Trickery deck? Hey, thanks for the follow, Colin P. Is that what you're talking about, Odin's? Because if Oops, I Pooped My Pants 2 Electric Boogaloo is the Tybalt's Trickery deck, I think it's nonsense. I haven't seen any version that I've been impressed by. That said, I mean, it looks like it would be fun to play if you just want to, like, Spanish Inquisition in modern. And they do have, like, a sideboard juke plan that's, like, mildly interesting. So, like, I, I, I get it. Canister was playing a bunch of like crazy versions of it this morning. Um and and he was playing tons and tons of like non-deterministic versions, which was really funny because he Tybalt's trickeried into um uh into uh, um uh, Simeon Spirit Guide a lot. A lot a lot. Like so many times. It was really funny to watch. All right, let's see if we can get the 4-1 here still. We're the 4-1 stream, baby. <sighs> Got to keep all our tech under the radar. F-E-R magic. Is that iron magic? Uh, I think I'll keep this hand. It's got a lot of potential. Potential to suck. Man, in that first game against Etron 2, they never put uh, a chalice on one, and we never drew any of our repeals. Rats. Rats. 
I do love to die to very, very lucky Etron players, don't I? It's like one of my go-to moves. Well, slow start. I was really, really hoping they would play something. Because this is definitely going to be some kind of control value pile. Now, that said, we have a lot of terrifying haymakers. So we'll see what kind of value pile they're on. Because some of them will get super hosed by what we're about to do. But if they're playing Teferi, they can bounce my Song of Creation pretty easily. So that's that's not so much fun. If Song of Creation has one enemy, it's uh, it's instant speed bounce. But, uh, yeah. Maybe they'll play turn 3 Omnath. I would like to see turn 3 Omnath. Turn 3 Omnath would be tremendous. I would be enthused. I would have all the fun. They pa Did they just whiff? Sick. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to lead on Karn. No, 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 no. Oh, sure. I'm still going to lead on Karn. Because I would like to have... Um, I would like to have uh, as many land drops as possible for Song. I feel like... like Yeah, they have to have some kind of counter magic here. Appeal and Remand have to be two of my all-time favorite magic cards. The little text on the bottom says draw a card gets me going. I agree with you. I love when when other effects have draw a card tacked to them. And even better than either of those cards is um, cards that have a spell effect, and then they cycle, and you get a smaller version of that spell effect. I love those cards so much. So much. I want to say it's called, like, Searing... There's, there's a card in Onslaught that's like one red red to cycle or like three in red to play. And it's just fantastic. All right, I'm just jamming Karn here. We're just going to assume that our opponent is eventually going to let us resolve something and they're not expecting it to be Song of Creation. Cryptica. That I was not expecting. I don't know this. Take your three lands. Slice and dice. No, not that one. Slice and dice is great, though. Slice and dice is a banger. Uh, well, there's there in Scourge. They had ones where they were like really goof. Fuck. That's so rude, opponent. So rude. They did put the remand field pile into their graveyard. So hopefully they don't have a draw spell to pick that remand up. Zenith, Zenith Flare. Zenith Flare has nothing on um, uh, Lightning Rift. I apologize, but no. The GOAT is Lightning Rift. And in my opinion, forever will be. I cannot believe they didn't put Lightning Rift in Modern Horizons 1. That might be the greatest omission. Like, by a ludicrous margin. That is so far from acceptable. What did they put on top? Did they put on the... They put remand. Oh, there's, there was still another remand, so I... Fuck. We're, we're super hosed here. And I don't have Veil vale of Summers in my sideboard, unfortunately. Because I was trying to hedge against the... Um, the... Oops, I crap my pants... Two. I think I'm just going to wait. If they bring back their Uro, we'll repeal it. And then if they counter that, we'll go try to go off.
Okay. They had the land. So if they're smart, they can reset. Uh, oh, they exiled their remand. Interesting. Well, maybe they can't. We'll see. What are you up to, opponent? Fetch us. Interesting. They're probably going to reset force and then remand. <sighs> Fuck. So many of my other threats are not spells. Sorry, are, are creatures. Like so many other good cards I could... If, that is, if I were to draw them. Well. We're getting rid of the last piece of counter magic we know they have. So maybe we'll get lucky and they'll actually just run out. They just didn't counter it. Wild. Zombie hunt. Is that a treasure hunt with... What's the synergy? I know it plays treasure hunt, but I don't... I don't remember anything else about that deck. Blast zone. Jeez. Oh. The last two... The last two matches have not... Oh, no! Don't pass! Get cocky! Come on! Tap out. Goodness gracious. All right. <sighs> Zombie infestation and reliquary tower. What? Is, is zombie infestation legal? No, I know I can grab my, my Orion, but I can currently cast a uh, song. So if they get in a fight with Ren and Six for whatever reason, like they're tanking super hard on everything. So either they're slow or they just don't know what they're doing. They were looking for a two mana counter. They didn't find it. Hopefully they forced the Ren and Six. Because I know they have a force. I know they have a force. Oh, thank God. Maybe we just won. You have a second force? Did I break through? I want to break free. No. Okay, good. Trying to cycle into a force? Okay. Um, we'll go blue here. Let's go, baby. Where's my thing? I need the inspiration of Powerhouse. not put the lightning bolt in their hand. Okay, so if I'm going to play a Springleaf Drum, I want to guarantee that I can get mana off of it. So I'll play it now, then play the Emery. Holy shit. If they don't have a bolt, I think I just got there.
Don't mill the oracle. Don't mill the oracle. Don't mill the oracle. Did not mill the oracle. <laughs> they do have a vault. Ah, no, I clicked through. I should have gotten the green mana. It's fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right, hold on. Getting distracted. It's too much fun. All right. Uh... I may have really needed that green mana. Okay. I gotta find another Emery. Should this deck be playing a way to recur Oracle? Yes, I believe it should. Fuck. Oh, what did I have to screw up? Okay, we're not done. We're just in a spot. Singleton Echo? We've done that before. That was um, sketchy. I made the right play and I got punished. Fuck. Do I have an Uro in my graveyard now, though? I don't have an Uro yet? Holy shit. I gotta keep going until I find one, I guess. Well, we're hosed. But we still have the song in play, and we have three fresh draws for next turn, so I think we'll be okay. That that did suck, though. The fizzle there was brutal. There's lots of different ways we could take this deck, any of which could be exceptionally, uh, exceptionally powerful. Um, if people are... Looking at uh, ways that we could. Looking at ways we could make this uh, more more powerful. Give us Opal. Yeah, Opal, Opal would uh, crack this deck wide open. But it would also make a lot of other decks completely insane. So. The big Jeskai shell. Oh, Jeskai Ascendancy. So I saw a Jeskai Ascendancy uh, Song of Creation deck that was fairly impressive when I played against it. I don't know if it's any better or worse than than this, but um, it certainly seemed pretty impressive. They they killed me one game with the whole uh, Emery attack you for a billion. If that's just Uro, I think we're going to win here. We'll see, though. Opponent is very indecisive. But I think that means they probably have next to no interaction in their hand. Their Nexus ended up in exile. What what is um Oh is it is it Jeskai Ascendancy that untaps all your creatures and gives them plus one plus one? It does untap them too, right? And then you also get a loot? That card is insane. The number of things that card does is nuts. Okay, now they can reset Remand. They can reset Remand, and they can cast Arrow. How many cannons are in my graveyard? One. Only two? Only two. 
Okay. I might be able to go off here still. Because if in the top four, I get four draws on my turn. So if we can find a Kinnon, we can definitely cast Song twice. It's the card you try to force and everything. I get, I get that. I get that. What are you casting, opponent? Sure, you got it. Oh, they got their lonely sandbar to draw a card. I'm afraid. What are you drawing? Island. Sick. So I know what they're going to cycle into. Excellent. Okay, we should be good here. Good. 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 The Oracle's still in my deck, though. I don't want to mill it. But I have to play Emery eventually. But I probably want to play Emery once I get the song in. I have one, two, three, four, and then I have one, two, three, four. Yeah. Bobble and Uro first. Why? Yeah, we they bounce the song. Huh. They're digging for uh, force negation. They did not hit it. Boom. That is how you do it. This is how we do it. Boom, bow now. Boom, bow, 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 no, bow, 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 no, bow, bow. All right, let's 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 just add all the mana I could ever want to add with Cannon before I let it die. I'm not saying I'm going to let it die. I'm saying I let my Emery die <laughs> last turn, and uh, and that almost lost us the game. <laughs> it's beautiful. You guys remember how I was like, well, let's just keep sandbagging this song. And I, I, you know what? I bet we'll be able to cast it and then we'll probably just win on the spot. And uh, I was only slightly off. All right, let's add more mana and draw a card. Add more mana and draw a card. Ooh, Bree. Yeah, buddy. Get in there, babe. Get in there, Babs. Hey, Bab. Hey, Bab. Get in there. It's working. It's working. So, for anyone who hasn't seen Bergie and Song do its thing yet, okay, we're on 10 cards. There's the Thassa's Oracle. Uh, oops. We're fine. We got more than enough mana here. Oh, now that I've drawn the Oracle, so let's filter this into blue, blue. Filter that into blue, blue. Seven cards left in my library. So uh, the Oracle draws two. So I think we'll go Uro. Uro puts me to three. Oracle puts me to one. Yeah. This is just Storm for people who think, think that they're too good for Storm. I begrudgingly accept your judgment. Dab is so good. 
I love the rude. Last card in my deck was repeal. <laughs> Get spanked, nerd. <laughs> uh, hold on, I gotta check my laundry real quick. So, we have no sideboard cards for control, but basically their deck was already probably pretty close to as well set up to beat us as it could be. So, we just have to rinse and repeat. Now, that said, they didn't know what we were doing, so that obviously helped us out big time there. So... This is the extra spicy storm deck. Storm is medium, breach is, is uh, sorry, S storm is mild, breach is medium, and this one is extra, extra habanero hot. Yeah, the, the thing that always annoys me about storm is gifts ungiven. I fucking hate gifts ungiven, because the, the number of times they're just like, look at the cards. Doesn't matter what you choose, you're dead. And it's just... Opponent molds to six. Put the fear of put the fear of goose in him. And sometimes your deck just like really wants it. Like your deck is just like, yo, we got this. That is so much mana. Wow. Let's see how they let me sequence. I'm assuming the goose is gonna, yeah, cool. Oh, opponent. It was not safe to do that. You'll, you'll probably get away with it. Are they gonna fetch bolt? No, they're not. But, uh, I don't want to cast the Mox Amber in case I actually resolve the song next turn. Which I'm assuming I won't, but. They have a Bolt? Nope. Just getting the F6 value. Okay, I could get two more mana out of this turn, but it doesn't do anything for me, so I'm just going to pass. So we can start spinning Kinnon, huh? But that also means I'm one mana away from... Um, it means I'm one mana away from casting Song twice. Or casting Karn into Song. So we will set up to spin Kinnon here. And then uh, next turn, we can cast Karn and Song, which they probably won't won't be able to uh, deal with. Oh, 
Okay, listen, Kinnon. You missed last time I spun you. I sank seven mana into you in a time of desperation, and you missed. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to pick up your little bootstraps. We have splashed white for Teferi in this shell. We have played Ren and Six Teferi Karn. Can it hit Bergy? Oh, you can hit Bergy. Oh, that's cool. She's a god. Opponent is now reading Kinnon. What? Hold on, what? Oh. It's so good. It's so good. Why is it so good? Five color Kinnon build? Oof. You mean this card has more text? Yeah, fire design, baby. Fire design. Every card must have the maximum amount of text. I love that that was a thing during Theros, apparently. And then they did Ikoria, and Ikoria has... Um like a similar sort of vomit of text on each card. All right, so let's play Karn first, all innocent like. Like, oh, here's this Karn. You know, he's not not crazy. F is for font that gets increasingly smaller. I is for irritation. All right, maybe they'll have the force too, but I can't play around everything. Boop. Uh, I want an extra blue. Hey, can I get one song of creation extra blue? Please force me, go down to two cards. I know what R should stand for, but I can't say that word. No, no, I, I, no, I want my song of creation with extra blue. Last time I had the Berg song of creation. Uh, a different time I had a, I've, I've played like a Jeskai neat. I played a Jeskai red, or sorry, Jeskai green. Oh, opponent with the deep dig. All right, you got me. They got there. Yeah, they got there. They did the thing. Oh, they finally found the removal spell for Kinnon. I'm pretty sure I'm just playing Uro into Escape Uro here. Yeah, casting and escaping Uro in the same turn is like this deck's thing. It does it a lot. I just like my opponent had Veil of Summer in, and I'm just sitting here being like, for what? You you don't understand what I'm about, do you, opponent? I mean, it's okay, I get it, but like... Kinnon, fetch an Emery, escape Uro. Oh yeah. Escaping makes me feel good. Oh, baby. Are they going to reset Cryptic here? I would assume. Yeah. Okay. We can do Bounce My Uro? 
They're also gonna scratch you. But you just put one of those cards on top! <laughs> I'm so excited for them to bounce my arrow. So excited. You don't understand. More value for the value gods. Poor OP brought the cryptic to the arrow fight. Yeah, that's uh, it's an apt description of this game. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He wasn't supposed to, but he's coming back. And now coming back out of retirement. Oh, no. No, what do you have? Mana leak? I could pay, you know. But now they told me they have a mana leak, which I can, I think I could play around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can. That's so funny. So I need green, green, blue, blue. Hopefully it's not a remand. <sighs> Rats. Can't believe it was a remand. What a nerd. Again, they bolt a cannon. Flying Noodle's all right. Good draw. Value, value, value. <laughs> what do you mean you just realized we mill out with an 80 card deck? Of course we do. What are we, amateurs? What size of deck are you milling out with? 60? Like a chump? Like a poor person? <laughs> you forgot what your Ryan did. How dare you? Song of Creation plus your own. Wow! How many freaking cryptics? All right, all right, all right. I'm not even mad. Not even mad. We'll be fine. We've got a card draw engine on deck. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is our deck is nothing but action, right? It's crazy. Yeah, so ba Battle of Wits is uh, is the next next level. The problem with the Battle of Wits Song of Creation deck is you have to play way too many garbage cards, and then Fast as Oracle and Battle of Wits how you're going in different directions, so I wouldn't really want to do that. But I do think that we could go on a campaign of, like, if we can 5-0 with an 80-card Urian Song of Creation deck, then we go for 90, then we go for 100. There was someone who was doing that in Legacy with... Oh, what was the archetype? 
can't remember what archetype it was, but someone was playing Urian in Legacy in, in some deck, and that, that was what they were doing, is they, they 5-0'd with uh, 80 cards, so then they 5-0'd with 90 cards, they 5-0'd with 100, and I think I, they got up to 120. Cannot find song easily enough. Well, that yeah, that's the main concern. Yeah, 80, 80s. The the reason, but the um, Bergie and um, Karn have been helpful already. Woof. All right, uh, play star. How is OP and still in it? Because they're playing a good deck. They were drawing good cards. We're not mad about it, you know? We're we're failing to draw any of our powerful, like, crack the game in half engines here. That's that's the answer. But we're going up like four cards per turn on them, and right now they're just drawing an extra land per turn, so that's like it's fine. If this is another Mystic Sanctuary, it'll be kind of a pain in the ass. But again, like, what are they going to do? Get Cryptic and bounce my Uro? Like, ooh. You got me. Now they're scrying before they put the Cryptic on top. Now that's using your brain, your brain with your think. All right, what do you got, nerd? They found something that's making them tank real hard. I'll be back. Sure. I assume they're not playing a third Mystic Sanctuary. Crap. Mistap my mana. Uh, oh, we can get it. Untap Emery. Should have done that before, but uh, whatever. Untap Emery. Tap Emery for a green. Make a food. Yes. I found the line, guys. I found the line. Okay, that's nice. Let's see if we can get any land at all that's worthwhile. I'd also like to point out that dis despite popular opinion, I'm currently clocking my opponent. Lyrics punch worthy, you may act with shock and awe.
it's on top of your deck. Field of the Dead. Okay. Well, that's something to be avoided. You keep hearing Larry's Larry's sponge worthy. That's a quality uh, uh, Seinfeld reference. Oh, hello. So what if we just try to cast Harnfell here? Hey opponent, do you know what this does? It ends you. I know they have, or they already cast their cryptic, so. Really? So pick up Renan, or pick up a land with Ren Six. Pitch it for the top two cards of my deck. Actually, do I have enough mana? I only have three mana. Maybe I have to just sit right now. If I am gonna sit right now, let's play the mocks, untap my emery, and set up another card draw. Next turn should be their last turn, so. I want everyone to know that it's a legal play to untap your Renin 6 with uh, Minamo School at Water's Edge. It's important you know. Knowing's half the battle. Oh no! Zombies! How will I ever defeat the zombie horde? Picks up Scalding Town, sure. Scalding Town on top. Sick. Ooh, I like that one. So I feel like if they have a counter, they'll hit it on Karn. They won't. Hmm. Really shouldn't tank too long here. Let's get Walking Blista. All right, let, let's see if they actually have nothing. I still have more than enough to go off here. So if they actually have anything, they're dead. Or if they have nothing, they're dead. Okay, they've got something. That is a sec. That's the the next cryptic. Dang it. Well, maybe. How many songs am I down? Just two. Just two. All right. We could probably find another one. Let's try. Nope. Although that's a kinnon. Let's play the kin and make all my mana go crazy. Cast Chromatic Star. Draw a card, add blue, blue. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Draw a card, add blue, blue. Draw a card, add some red.
cast the chromatic sphere draw a card add green green exile or sorry discard okay mox amber then draw me a ah no 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 ah shit Just go discard goose. There it is. Song. Cast song. With one blue up. Okay, I officially proved that uh Harnfell is insane in this deck. I want everyone to know we this was this was where we proved it. Really hope they're not holding a counter for the last minute here. Because I do not... Decklist anywhere. If you type exclamation point deck in chat, I believe you will get it. Uh, I believe I set it up correctly. Quantum fetches. What is this? Okay. They're scrying. They're just getting their F6 value here. That's cute. Yeah, that's the list. What my opponent does not realize is they're dead. Okay, slow down, Zach. You got plenty of time. Just cast the right spells. Oh, uh, wow. Almost decked myself. We we're going to, down to zero cards here. And we win. <laughs> I like that Jiggy and Bergu kind of rhyme, but it's Bergy, right? Is it Bergy? It's Bergy. It's Jiggy and Bergy. All right, we're on the three one. Jiggy and Bergy do rhyme. I just brought bought four Bergies. They were uh, like two and a bit tick uh, tickets. Uh, that is not accurate because I just bought them for two and a bit tickets. So I would say that that's probably being updated like once a day. I looked like yesterday and they were a quarter of a ticket. We're playing against someone who's going for the 5-0, yikes. All right. That's not good enough. Jiggy would throw that back. Jiggy would not throw this back. This one is good. <laughs> Bergy Smalls. I like it. I like it. Bergy Smalls. white ooh okay this could be really good or really bad depending on how fast the, they can get the archon out also depending on how our draw comes together 
Turn to Bergy against taxes. Yeah. Hello. Probably have Path to Exile. Maybe Thalia. Both of those things are really, really, really bad for me, so let's all clench a little bit. That one's fine. At least for the moment. Okay, don't fetch yet. I think I'd rather... I'm one short of playing and popping the EE. So I think I'd just rather grab a land. I guess they can strip mine me next turn then, though. God, we're so... So we were on a roll there. Yeah. All right. Let's go get our mana. We'll see what they do on the next turn. This is a ritual right now. That's kind of neat. If they just go like path strip mine, it's gonna suck hard. Okay, that's not too bad. Lots of worse things could happen right there. Especially with the engineered explosives, it's gonna wipe out all their arbiters. What if there was a complete disaster for you, opponent? How would that make you feel? I want you to describe your emotions for me right now. And be honest, because this is for the record. Sure. Slick. Opponent's going for 5 0. <laughs> Opponent says, oops. Fair. Fair. Hey Jiggy, engineered explosives is really good as like your only only piece of interaction in the deck sometimes. Third arbiter, wow. Strip mine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fuck, that's my green mana. Holy crap, that's frustrating. And then we're back in it. Fuck! Fuck! Ah! Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate this fucking card so much. Ah! Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Oh, my God. I hate that card so much. Ah! Uh, I played around it, and then I forgot. <sighs> Fuck. Holy crap. Oh, I'm so fucking mad. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Oh. Okay. Also make a food, I goose? No, I can't. They took my green mana.
Fuck. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Why did I do that? Ah. <laughs> well, I guess we know how they're 4 0. Goodness gracious. It's fucking dead. Is it normal for ad? Yes. Yeah. If you watch back through my videos for about the last full year, every time I play against Ad, ad Nauseum while I'm playing um, a, a deck with Counter Magic, if they have a. What do you call it? If they have a um, prismatic, the 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 thing, the prism. Pr no, uh, what the hell is the name of the card? Uh, the the sunburst card. Whenever they have that, I'll I'll frequently make the joke that um, I'll frequently make the joke that I'm, I'm I have to play around their veil, but it's not really a uh, pet head prison. Thank you. But it's not really a joke. So I can animate the mall and then goose can block one of the flyers, but they could just give it protection. Fuck. 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 Oh my God. If we hadn't, if I hadn't punted that stupid fetch land, we would be okay here. Fuck. I'm so mad at myself. I can't, I can't even right now. Leon and Arbiter, god damn. And I killed the two previous ones, and I played around the first one correctly. Like, ah. I don't understand why I'm so bad at this game sometimes. That was such a good, such a good, such a good opening for us. So I think I'm boarding down on combo here. I know that seems crazy, but I just think it's too easy for them to knock the wheels off the bus and then we're just totally SOL. Kill their stuff. That's the plan. That's the plan. Well, we never drew an Uro in that game. And if I had, I couldn't cast it even once because I didn't have any green mana. Oh. oh, it'll be okay. It's all gonna be okay. This is this is why we don't five ho. <laughs> Keep Oracle just in case. I don't think it's worth it here. I mean, I lost I lost that game to Etron because I did that, but I don't I can't see this deck going over the top of me like that. All right. I'll keep this on the back of Repeal on the play. I think Repeal on the play is going to be pretty pretty fire against that deck. This is the reason. I mean, not really, but that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to just uh, go full combo. Obviously, we can beat that, but there's a lot of hate for uh, sort of storming effects right now. Oh, perfect. You don't want to give me more? Okay. So they could have Arbiter into a strip effect, but I don't think I can play around that. It's also a pretty specific setup of cards that they need. 
This is my only red source, though. So if they do have Arbiter to a strip. EE for two for ones. I love it. Field is fine. Yeah, that's another card I was worried about. This is the card I talked about in game one, the Archon. Um, I think we're just going to go Karn plus. The other option is pass the turn and then repeal. I don't think I like that as much as just getting this Karn on deck. Karn hoses not all their equipment, but most of it, and then the Maul won't be able to kill Karn, and then the next turn we'll just bounce the Archon. All right. Fuck. Fuck this card. Oh my god, fuck that card. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> fuck this card. Every, just, you know what? Everything about that deck. Everything about that deck. Oh my god. Also me. Like, how am I so goddamn bad at this game? Still. I forget the text on this card every single time. If you asked me what it was, I could tell you. <sighs> well. Lots of practice mainly. But, like... I practice and then I'm consistently bad? I guess so. It's a legitimate vintage card. I know, I've played against it. In vintage! Getting into a real bad spot again. <sighs> fucking, fucking taxes. So I can bounce the Thalia at end of turn. And then hopefully we can bounce the Archon when they play the Thalia on the next turn. Rydane, God. This, this, is, this is the thing that makes the Snowlands come into play tapped. Non-creature spells your opponent's cast with converted mana cost four or greater cost two more. Fuck, that is Karn. That's, that's unfucking real I am so frustrated. I mean, I'm glad the person is going to be able to 5-0 with that in their deck. But Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Card is sweet. I mean, that's something. Rex Repeal? You can't cast another spell, sir. Or madam, or they. This card is actually symmetrical, thank god. But the, the, I just, yeah, I can... I can't, I, I can, I can't beat this. I can never beat that. I can't play anything from this point, basically. Like, that. I could go Gilded Goose. So this comes tapped. Play the Goose. Next turn I can play Karn and get the bridge. Yeah, no, I, I I understand the limitation of it. The problem is everything I need to bounce is 3 CMC or greater. This is the problem. Like, I understand that it's not universally... It doesn't universally hose repeal, but... 
Yeah, we need EE -E or um, Galvanic Blast. Galvanic Blast would do good work here too. Because I could use Goose to make another food plus the Chromatic Sphere. Sure. So what does this actually do? If a source your opponent control would deal damage to you or permanent you control, yeah. Whenever you or another permanent you control becomes the target of. Okay, that's fine. These things are fine. Okay, so one of the cards in their hand is Thalia. <sighs> Basically, right now I'm in a spot where I just need to dodge them having... Um... Skyclave Apparition. Cast the other side of Bergy. Yeah, that's a really great idea. That's... Uh... That's such a good idea, Jiggy. It's the best idea I've ever heard. I don't... I think I think Karn gets an EE, period. So, Karn is what I'm doing. Karn is handing me an EE. Karn's going, yo fam, I got you. So we could take up to four this turn, EE -E their board, hopefully get away with this. Because the EE -E only cost me three. It doesn't cost me uh, five. Why Karn over Bergy there? Because Karn guarantees me the EE Jiggy. Yeah, why, why, why would I take the chance when I could get the guaranteed one? Let's see what they attack. Yeah, that's pretty good for me. I can't block to kill it anyway, so this is good because it takes away the the option of sacking the goose. I mean, I could sack the goose to keep the Karn alive, but I, I just don't care. They're going to strip me? How good has Ren 6 been in the deck? Uh, more than reasonable. As usual. So if I pop the EE now, I can play a spell, and that spell will be Chromatic Sphere. They'll be able to strip me again, and then play Thalia. We'll be able to play Sphere, Emery, maybe Repeal. I mean, it's not like it's getting a whole lot better. And I have Uro here as well. Are you kidding me? Ah, <laughs> we're so close. <laughs> 
fucking what? Wait, this is so much better for me. Why is this happening? Is this better for me? I can't. T I can't tell anymore. I don't know how to feel. I. Don't fetch. <sighs> Takes four mana to bounce Thalia. It takes five mana to bounce the Elia. If I just put myself to nine and then try to get Uro next turn, now they've got double double strip. So let's draw a card. Draw a card, play Bergy, and if I hit an untapped land, we could play Emery. Yeah, I want to play Emery to to get the E for the next turn, but I, I can't, I can't do it because I'm, I'm dead on board. I can't do enough. I can't stay alive to get the EE. -E. There's nothing. I can't do it. Oh, Ren and Six kills the Thalia. But it costs three mana. Spell or ability. Fuck. I'm not surprised Valky is disappointing. Oh, it doesn't, because this prevents the damage, too. Man, this does so much stuff. Fuck. I guess I just play my 3 3. Hope it stonewalls them a little bit. They only have one card in hand. Maybe it's good enough. And I can pay for the Arbiter. I'm just so ready for them to be like Lol Exile. Damn. Fuck. 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 Alright. I screwed up both games in several places, so it's fine. Those those that matchup is so freaking frustrating. All right, I apologize for all that. That was uh, you had a basics. It doesn't matter. I'm dead on board. I'm dead, 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 dead. Very dead. Incredibly dead. Okay, but 3-2 is not a bad first go with this deck. Um, the first two matches were a little soft. The e-tron deck just had the nuts against us, and that's going to be a really hard matchup. Uh, obviously, one of the things to work on here is the sideboard, but I guess we drew literal zero Galvanic Blast in that last one, so I'm not uh, not too too upset about it. Just disappointed to see us go down in flames so hard when we, we had such a great opening in that last match. But uh, it's on me. Just tilt it off a little bit. That's all good. So, yeah. Bergy seems rock solid. Uh, Harn fell. Horn of Bounty seems very good as well. So, expect to see more of this deck, I think. Because I there's something to it. Um, I think maybe we should be playing some Noxious Revivals as Jiggy Wiggy would uh, would suggest. 
the reason to do that is to why are you shouting at me underworld i don't want to play underworld breach so one so okay so that you bring up a salient point so why are we not playing underworld breach in this deck uh one i think that deck is very easy to hate out and there's a reason it hasn't been particularly popular or particularly successful the thing about song of creation yes i i know you can escape for zero so the thing about song of creation and Bergy, the the horn is neither of these cards interact with our graveyard we can go off entirely through our own deck only so it may be the case that if we're expecting heavy hate we might want to actually play multiple copies of Thassa's Oracle in the main deck because that gives us a lot more insurance when we get into that kind of position or a card like Noxious Revival. I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to get the slots for it. Um, Noxious Revival, by the way, with Song of Creation forms like a miniature powerful loop. I just wanted Underworld Breach on top of this, not instead of Song. Oh, no, 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 I understand, but I don't, I just don't think Breach is something I want to be doing in this deck at all. I just don't think you need to at all, at all, at all, at all. And if you're not playing Grinding Station, so then you also have to play Grinding Station, and I don't want to do that. I don't think those, like, playing those bad cards makes your deck worse, period. Could always swap a land for Balaged recovery. You lose the loop potential. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather have the loop potential. Although Balaged recovery is not the worst idea in the world, because instead of this second breeding pool, Jiggy was usually playing um, Ketria Triome, and I think that's insane in your in your combo deck to lose lose games or matches, which I have done to top decking uh, a land that you need untapped, and it's the only land in your deck that can't be untapped. This deck is so powerful that that very frequently you need as much mana as you can eke out of early turns, and so the Ketria Triome can be a death sentence. Um, yeah, I, th I think Noxious Revival is better, but Balaged Recovery is also worth testing. Anywho, um, thanks for for uh, coming along, folks. Uh, Jester's Cap, Trinisphere and damping sphere are were temporary additions to my sideboard today um because i was expecting to see a bunch of the emrakul deck which we never ran into but also we probably had a week we had a week game there uh if they had actually been able to go off on a reasonable pace so we got some good testing on bergy i think i definitely need to do more of it uh, i probably will do we'll probably be doing some streams this week where we just play this deck a lot um so if you're watching this on the future in the future on YouTube, make sure to hit that like, bu like button, smash that subscribe button, and you can find me on twitch.com slash mana symbol, C-Y-M-B-A-L, like the instrument, and I might be streaming a whole bunch of this deck this week to try to hit a 5-0 with it, because I think it definitely has the potential. Meanwhile. That out of the way, uh, I think I'm going to call it for tonight. I'm going to get my cards rented for uh, team or taking turns tomorrow, which I'm going to play. I'm going to do some practice matches tonight, and then I'm going to be playing it in the challenge starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So that is in 10 and a half hours. So hopefully many of you people wander your way on back here. Check out some team or taking turns. I guess I could play this deck, but I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Um, so you guys have yourselves a good evening. Uh, however, I'm trying to look. My browser is being uncooperative. YOLO? It's a free roll. I'll think about the YOLO. I'll think about playing this. I might I might jam some of this off stream right now and see if it's see if I feel good about it.
So I'm sending you guys over to Fluffy Wolf 2. So hopefully you guys enjoy your time there. Peace out.